Hello everybody, my name is Cyber Aqua and welcome to Backbone. This is an interesting game. Mostly detective type game. Made by Eggnut. Gotta love them Eggnuts. This is a prologue, so basically a demo. Which is free on Steam and probably be in the links in the description below. Came out a few week a week ago, I think. Well, it was announced a week ago that it will be coming soon. But the prologue came out just for everyone to give it a try. Read the description. It's quite interesting. You, you're a raccoon. That is a de detective. So, let's find out how much f detective we do. Uh, it, I think this is also made by indie developer. It, it, it has a retro theme to it. So, like you can see right now. Let's, let's see what happens. Raccoon buddy. Smoking it away in the tub. Buddy, um. Hello? Hello? Pick up the phone already. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Oh, I get to roleplay. Yeah. Got it. Just enough time to clean up. <clears throat> I need a voice for him. Use AD, backward and forward, left and right, to move around. E to interact with objects. Yes, thank you very much, invincible thing. Uh, some random person that's telling me to control stuff. Living room. Case files. Insurance fraud, lost cars, estranged lovers. Should probably get rid of some of these old case files eventually. What is this? Inspect this. Use mouse to drag and drop items. Some items can be picked up by pressing E. Ooh, this is interesting. E to pick up. What? Okay, I picked up a ball. Um, to drag and drop. Oh, so I need I need to have an inventory or something. This is kind of familiar to Minitor. Everybody who's sh probably been knowing it by now since Markiplier played it. This is not really made by the same thing, but it also has a similar concept to it. I like it. I can't go. You can't leave. Let me out! The raccoon needs detective stuff. Not housework. Or chores. Uh, office. Hello. Media set. This darn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta find. Gotta hit Frankie up with next time I'm in... Fustal? Uh, and when I have cash, so never. Yep. Repeating endless cycle. Notes on the fridge. On the fridge. Call mom. Buy soap. Pay bills. Don't die. Key to key to immortality. Not dying. You got that right. Photo chemicals. Is this those like olden tiles? Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Oh, great soup. Everybody wants a great soup, man. Window. What's in the window? Hard to get tired of this view. Mm, view of the city. Interesting. Place dishes. Why do I have dishes in this? Ha! Huh? Wait, wait, wait. So this is a kitchen and a... Bathroom? I'll watch this later. Probably not. What's this? Toilet. Okay, yeah, let's go to the toilet. Um, toilet books. What, what? The great apes. The great story. Swell toilet. Read better. Swell. Wait. Swell toilet. Read. Better li leave it here. Okay. Okay. Is there anything else? What do you have on your ear? I'm curious. Is that your ear cut it off? One ear damage. Mm, interesting. Window, da da da. Office. I think I cleaned up everything. Wait, wait. Place chemicals. Everything knows its proper. Wait. Everything knows its proper place. Huh. That must be Mrs. Green. Hello, Mrs. Green. Right. Or deity. What? Is it or deity? Excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotto. We spoke on the phone. 
And, uh, excuse me, I'm looking for Detective Lotto. We spoke on the phone. One, uh, I gather you have a case for me, Mrs. Green? At your service, Mrs. Green. Trust you've had a pleasant day. Mrs. Green, can I help you? You were vague when we spoke before. That's... Let's go with this one. Mrs. Green... Oh, I can't... Oh, well. Please, just... Oh, deity is fine. And I'd rather be discreet with this matter. That's all. Noted. What are we dealing with? The information I gathered from clients is strictly confidential, I assure you. Any particular reason for said discretion? Okay, let's go with the second one. It's always pleasant to deal with a professional. Okay, so what's the matter at hand? Is there any particular reason for your concerns? Let's say number one. So what's the matter in your hands? Well, uh, I can't speak. I, um, well, I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. Is he missing? What's the matter? Do you suspect he's cheating? Oh, I feel like taking the third option. This is the all days of line of work. What's the matter, actually? He hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, and every time I talk to him... Uh, uh, oh, no. And every time I try to talk about it, he gets... But no matter. It is just embarrassing to admit. Suspects his cheating on you? Hold up. What happened when you tried to talk to him? So let's, let's dig deeper. He gets... Difficult. It's like everything is still somehow my fault. And he's... But I'm sorry. Is this relevant? What what I need to know if you... Don't know, is if you can get proof. Something that they'll hold up in court. Deity, I know these questions feel invasive, but I'll need to know. Court, are you filing for a divorce? If he in, if he's indeed he's having an affair, I can't. I can get you what you want. Understood. I'll need a picture and some information about his routine. Um, I need information. So I've been called. So I need. So I need to ask a question. She's the first first victim. Ish. I really don't think it's relevant, Mr. Lotto. And I'd rather move on. The DAT personal details often make create, make or break a case. Let's talk about the court then. You're filing for a divorce? Let's talk let's talk case details. I need a picture and information about his routine. Alright, tell me. Why are you so certain he's having an affair? <laughs> Alright, tell me. I'm almost done with this work. Tell me. Okay, um... Okay, I need a photo. Of course! Anything you need. What would you like to know? Where can I find him, usually? First question. Well, supposedly, he goes to work and then comes home. But I know sometimes he goes somewhere else after work. Occasionally before. Now it's be becomes more frequent. Hold up, how do you know he goes somewhere else after work? Yeah, tell me. He hasn't been hiding well. His behavior is all abnormal. He gets home late. Mrs. Brick lies and smells funny. What's the funny smell? Hmm? How do you know he's been missing work? One last thing. Let's talk. Let's talk case details. I need to fix you know about his routine. What? What? Huh? What? Why do I need to rephrase it? Oh, so I could go back to it. All right, that's good stuff. Now let's talk about your husband's personal de details. Uh, uh, and you caught him lying. Interesting. I already like this game, but like I kind of. So it's like you choose your words wisely in a detective ward. Hmm. So, how would you be? Apes! I feel so ashamed. He's going to get terminated if he continues like this. I've gotten calls. At first they wondered if he was homesick. I lied for for him a couple of times, too. 
What's the funny spell? Okay, now I just repeat it one last thing. Let's hope it's okay. So that all right, I think it's good stuff. Yeah, and he caught him lying. And what do, what time does he get home when he's like, uh, what's the funny smell? Yeah, like f like perfume, not mine. Alcohol, smoke, and something else I can't pinpoint. But it's pure grin. What? What? It's pale grin. I can't say that word. Sorry. Y you know what it is. I don't. I'm bad at this. A kind of herbal stench. Okay. Okay. And you've caught him lying. Right. He's bad at it. Makes lame excuses about where he has been. Uh, okay. Have you met him? What is his full name? Okay, I need his name uh, as well. What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work called him Jeez. Jeez. Don't jizz yourself. <laughs> For sure. What does he look like? Have you met any of his friends? Where does he work? Any. Well, I'll be able to pick up. Pick him out out of the crowd. What does he look like? Yeah. He is a food. He's an otter. Oh, so all DT. Or DAT. Oh, maybe. Of course. <coughs> Of course, a bit shorter than you, and kind of ch chunky, chunky. He wears glasses, the square kind, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carry carries a black briefcase too, and from work. Have you met any of his friends? Where does he work? Okay, where does he work then? At the Wolf Bank. Wolf Bank. On. Granville? Is that Ville? You say Ville or Ville? Granville? Granville? I, I don't know. I can write the address down for you. Alright. Have you met any of his friends? I haven't met them. But he's mentioned some guys from time to time. Sometimes he hangs out with them after work. I can't do a female voice. It hurts sometimes. It hurts my throat, I mean. <coughs> anyway, I would... I'd like, I'll be, but anyway, I'd be able to pick him out. Anyway, I'd be able to pick him out, out, pick him out of a crowd. Well, I lay his clothes out for him every morning. He has, wait, okay, let's try a voice here. Well, I lay his clothes out if, for him every morning. He has to wear a suit for work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. That's all I need. Now the awkward part. Payment. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Won't that be enough? Yes, plus an unexpected expense expenses during the investigation. I've got a lot of writing on this and I only got get one shot. Funds unlimited, you know. What assurance can you make that yet you're the right man for the job? I'm good at what I do. Yep. I bet my tail you're here because someone recommended me. <coughs> you know. Oh, I thought she said you're wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. But that's just one case I know you've helped sort. Are there others? That's confidential. That's not very reassuring. I'm good at what I do. Audit Audit If I wasn't, I wouldn't be allowed to practice. I hope so. It's very important, you know. You don't get caught. Do you understand? Of course! I'll get right on to it. DT, talk to you soon. New objectives. That's how do I open objectives? Nope. How, how do I... Objectives. Oh. Press tab to access... Detective menu. Ooh. Ho oh, ho ho. Information. Location. My office. Nose to self. Reminded to call mom. It's not difficult to rem remember, just difficult to stop procrastinating. Yep, that's always true. Media set is bricked. Again, Frankie could probably fix it, but I'd have to take all it all the way to for still. Ah, so it does give different entries for my thing. That's cool. Client Aditi Greens wants proof for her husband's affair to get a divorce and win custody over over their children. Task surveillance photographic. Or other substantial evidence of investigation. Target Jimmy Green, alias G's 
Otter, chubby, average height, square, glass, works at uh, dirt from 92, should be a good place to pick up his trail. He's wearing a green tie to the head today. Has a black suitcase and a wedding band on his left hand. Payment 100 up front, 50 after, plus expenses. Should be easy peasy. So it gives you the information. I wonder if the information is still the same even though you do different questioning. That's the interesting thing. Select, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's get this detective thing started. Easy peasy, that's what they all say. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Okay, so... Grand Valley smells like wet concrete. Overpriced, fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. Okay. What's up, buddy? F Furman and Sons. Okay. Furman. One slick, silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When they go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. Squirrel. What's up, squirrel? How you doing? Hey, what's up, old man? It's like, hey, what's up, old man? Take a good look at this photo. Have you seen this guy? What about you, young man? <laughs> Not much bye. <laughs> nah, man. Sorry. What are you, some sort of a pervert? No, what are you doing here? Just hanging? What are you doing? You could just say I'm hanging too. From my hanging to yours. Peace, bro. Goodbye then. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is it still the squirrel? Yep, the squirrel. Yo, buddy, can I talk to you? Have you seen this person? Nope, have you not? No. Posters. The Great Apes, the Great Story documentary. A story of order, a story of courage, a story of justice. This has been running for a year now. Jesus. And a totally? I don't know what's your name. Hey, my man, where to? I'm looking for someone. Go on a moment. And totally, it's me. How would you? How's this? It's good. It just arrives. See you later. Okay, let's still go to second. Ah! Mr. Howie. Howie. Come here. Give me a hug. This is an uh, good. Good. We've got a second lad coming up soon. Second. Whoa, you guys are lucky. We are. We are. And that's. And it's a big one. This is. He is as round as a beach ball. So I tell her. Woman, you're getting any bigger and I won't fit you. In, my, in a truck of a in the trunk of a car I won't fit you into a trunk of a car okay great can you answer a couple of questions uh, rude what do you want I'm looking for an order name Jeez, works at Wolf Bank have you seen him recently don't know tried looking at the bar down the street have you seen him there? No, Mr. Howie. How uh Would you let me work? You're scaring off my clients. Talk to you later then. I wish the... Oh. What's this? Okay. That, they did a great job restoring the... Wait, Voyage? If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. True, true, true. Oh, Alright, I can just press E. Close it. <coughs> Poster. E Eden Simmons is is the rising jazz star. See her tonight. Only a bike club. Neat. Should I check this out once I'm done with this case? Yeah, you should. Okay, Wolf Bank. Oh, here's the bank. Wolf Bank. This is where Green works. Yes, I know. Bank employee. Right. Yeah. Good evening, how are you doing, gentlemen? Why do you care? <laughs> Why do you care? Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this man? Mm, no, I should... Is Jizz around? And who are you? Oh, so you so you know him, asshole who owes me money. I've been looking <laughs> looking for him everywhere. Private dictator Luda, when was the last time you saw him? Oh, so you know him, let's go with that. Well, say hi to... Derek here. 
Well, say hi to Derek here because you two are probably not gonna see your money again. I'm trying to find the asshole. Have you seen him today? Yeah, but the wimp has yeah, left early. He's scared Derek's gonna s s split his wig. Heh, heh. Something happened at work. Left early. Where do you think he's headed? What do you say, boys? Home to his nagging bitch of a wife, to the gutter, when he where he belongs. Only apes knows. Something happened at work. Could he be with someone now, girlfriend? You're an asshole. You know that. That is something happened. Heard his contract is not getting renewed. Bastard had it coming. Could he be with someone now, girlfriend? If you reckon Harlot's a uh, sort of a good. A sort of girlfriends then sure could be with one of them for all I know did your boy spend time with him outside of work yeah we used to have a blast at the bites every Thursday it's not fun anymore though bite could he be there now if he is be sure to let let him know that he's a, he's as good as dead good luck rack sure thing thank you for your help Wolfbank. Wolfbank. Have you seen this man? Uh, I can't show my thing. The bite. Hmm. Might not. Might not. Wait. Might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Thank you. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. How charming are you, buddy? Bouncer. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. Whoa. Buddy. I'm a raccoon detective. Let me in, please. Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind? My friend Charles is waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? Let's go with the third option. Get me a personal invitation signed by the great apes. And I'll let you in, deal? Um, sure. Bye. Great apes. So. Squirrel. That's a squirrel fella standing outside firm and can't decide if he's a shady, shady or just a terrible sense of style. Got up with da da da. Bouncer picky about their crowd. Carnival only bouncer won't budge. Gotta get creative and look for another way and uh, way to change his mind. Can I? Can I? Can I get inside? Still no. Don't ask. <laughs> Damn, that's not a quest. Oh, shift to run. Alley, Ellie, Alley, Alleyway, Ellie, Larry, Howdy, oh Howard, well I'll be damned, is that you, Larry? It's me. It's been too long. What's going on, old man? I'm actually a tad busy right now. Ha, ha, who are you calling old, you old rascal? Same old, can't complain what's going on with you. Haha, <laughs> alright, that's fair. Plus, these rags likely don't help my appearance anyway. Didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. Are you okay? Not really, thank you though, I appreciate it. Larry, what happened? Ran out of places to crash. What are you doing these days? I'm so sorry. Not your fault, but would have thought I'd see you again with my own eyeballs isn't that great yeah you're right we'll talk about it again let me know if you need anything Gil sure thing now what's your deal I'll talk to you my friend bye have you seen an auto guy around here recently what did he do awful things to his pregnant wife who is now struggling to get a divorce can't tell client confidential I think she has just messed up his marriage, uh, like they do. What's he like? He's tall, wears a purple hat, he's about my height, chubby, wears a green hat. Here's a photo. Haven't seen him, sorry. Hope you find him. We always knew what to do with guys like this. Come back anytime. I'm here often and hear people talk. Thanks, I'll catch you later. Bye. Okay. That fella is not doing anything. Run! 
Oh, what's this? Intercom. Oh, it's there. Damn it! Run! Yes, yes, no, no. Can I cut off the power? <laughs> okay, so I can't go there. Let's go this way. 1499 for a trim. What a madman would pay for something. They could not have uh, to be to crush money. Stand up, okay. Wow. Shoot, that's down here, right? They're in the police booth. It's eating my brains out if he sees me. Gotta, gotta be sneaky. <laughs> it's like sneak up and just talk to him. <laughs> Actually, ah, uh, screw it. Kiwi Kiwi, all mud. All, all news is still trend tending to this stuff. Like, always used to give me free candy whenever I was a kid. I should say, go say hi before it gets driven out by some supermarket chain. Maybe next time. Okay, buddy. Can I not go in? I guess not. Raccoon. Wait. Kinsey's and Sons? Rich people clothes. One stock is more expensive than my whole outfit. Hmm. Jesus. Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in, in a food. Fidero, Fidoro, would then proceed to puke out his not entirely digested tuna burger onto my coat. Ah, the memory this place makes. This place brings back garbage bin. Okay, let's see. St socks, takeaway boxes, cigs. Aha, a ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Yo, Bo, how you doing? Good day to you, friend. Friend sees some fresh news? Sure, shoot. For a half a loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. Alright, there you go. What's the headline? Front page today. Great Apes Parade. Preparation underway. Celebration starts Friday. Thanks, man. See you around. How's the business anyway? Well, you tell me. People want their damn news for free and damn hawkers. Wait, damn hawkers don't help any? Grand's Valley getting full of them. And the force don't e don't even care. Why don't cops care? What are hawkers anyway? <coughs> you know, peddlers, they haul the trickety improvised stands around and collect all the profits with no with nary a permit. Duh, well, hawkers don't worry about bills and allowance, you see, so they can afford to sell cheap, undercut, honest businessmen like myself. Gotcha, I better go. I'll bet my tail that damn rodent with the seeds will be arriving any minute now. Well, cheer up, boo. You have at least one loyal customer. Man, you know, you can be a bit of an internal prick sometimes. Well, how about you buy something then? I've got nibbles, fizzy drinks. Actually, just remembered I got and I'll try to come by later though. <laughs> oh, loyal customer, my ass. Get out of here. Well, excuse me. Bye, boo. Oh, that's, that's some pretty good um, statements they wrote in. Uh, well, I, oh, shoot. Howard, come over here, boy. Boy, you mistaken me for someone else, officer. Hi, uh, uh, hi, Downey. Uh, yeah, hey, little one. What are you up to? Found a job yet? Uh, no. When are you going to make up your mind, doofus? Your mother is worried, and she's not getting any younger. Thanks for looking out for me, man, but I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, you can go now. Call your mom. I will buy. That's one good way of getting away, I guess. Alright, bites. Let me in, bouncer. What? I have a ticket right here. What is this? Haha, -ha, you're a funny little fella. So, can I get in now? It's a dirty piece of paper you find in a dumpster, so no. But that's for a good laugh. Want to hear another joke? Don't test my patience. Alright, I'll talk to you later. 
Bear, the raccoon walks into a bar. Fuck off. You're not fun. Bye. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, fine. I have to go and get the freaking signature. Okay. My buddy. Well, see ya. What? What? Buddy, I want to I make a discussion. Come on, man. Oh, uh, he doesn't want to talk to me. Damn. How do I get in? Uh, alleyway, Larry. Boo. Doctor Boo walked himself into a mood. This, this is the painful. Take it to the boss and we had a good laugh about it. I feel like we could become fast friends, Howard and Boss. Very best buds, running around, giving bouncing off thugs, solving mysteries. Oh, what will they find? Raccoon and bear buds, best of the kind. If only he would let me in. Okay, so let's try. Let's see if that works one more time. What? Goodbye. Okay. Tough break. It's really more for cat and a dog crowd in there. You said your guys in order. That's weird. If you have any ideas of how I could get in, why can I get a good disguise? Maybe if if I if I was a handsome cat. You're in luck. There's my neighbor. Let's see if they use this alley door for deliveries. Or you can ask Johnny. He he'd know better than me. Is this the back? Is the back door open usually? Fortunately, no. The bus people and using the intercom. Delivery trucks usually arrive later in the evening. Well, then, who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with the leather jacket. He's a pusher. I don't entirely know what his deals with the bite is. What his deal with the bite is, but he, they're chumming. Chumming. Chummy, uh, chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny sell? As far, far as I can tell to you, as far as I can tell, your typical like hype catnip and shadow fang. Oh, get this. He started rolling out something called monkey butt. Who comes up with these? It's like they don't, it's, it's like they don't want you to do drugs. <laughs> monkey butt. Okay, you think this Johnny guy helped? Uh, what did you mean Johnny's chubby with the three bites? Alright, I think the information I milked out of you should be enough to get me now. No, I need more. Might take some convincing, but he's chill. Bet my rings, he's easier to pursue, you, pursue than the bouncer. Persuade, I think? Persuade? Yeah, monkey butt. What did you mean, Johnny? In the show? Uh, he's friendly with the staff, and I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Tell me more about Johnny. What he's like. I think that was... I don't know him very well. He's young, and he's like his fur gel. Maybe Johnny can guess. Well, okay, could be. What's your working theories? It's got to be much true. Which truly really beneficial somehow. You might be on to something. I'm not sure. Monkey butt. Yeah, was this new thing? Things the shit. Okay, perhaps a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky things. Does it have kind of a herd stench? I've got no first hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. All right, I think the information I milked out is something I should do. You got it, Howard. It's not trouble. I welcome the distraction, really. In fact, if you want to know more about the bites, all you gotta do is ask. What have you got? Where to start? I could talk to you about the kind of place, kind of place it is, what people do there, and some rumors I heard about the uh, ownership. What do you want to hear? Hmm. Who owns the place? Owners are Bloodworth. So lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth sounds familiar. What's the what's the story there? Crime family had a lot of friends in the high places. Then the family head up and dies, and the shit hits the fan. Here, 
ended up dead too in the aftermath. And the current owner of Bites is a relative? Yeah, she was a cousin or something. Whoa, what's up? What is she up to now? Okay, yeah, people say she's taking back the whole operation piece by piece. Starting with the Bites, so the place fairly high bro, respected. What's the draw? Why do people do... I gotta go... Okay, let's go to the second show. Well, they got good music, often live. Also, a full restaurant besides the bar. But it's all on the first floor. That's all on the first floor. So the place fairly low. What's on the second floor? Not entirely certain. Maybe gambling, sex work, private priorities? I haven't paid much attention. So the place is fairly high respected. Okay, let's go there. You think. And they certainly keep up appearance. And what's behind the facade? Not 100% certain, but based on stuff I overheard, drug distribution, also whatever they use the second floor for. Aren't drugs a bit risky? Could get the whole thing shut down. Considering who owns the place, they're probably safe. And I imagine if any authority stirs up trouble, they'll have someone to throw under the bus. Gotta go, that's some great intel, Larry. Try to keep my eyes ears on the ground. Hopefully my target is there. Thanks for the help. I appreciate it. Man, Larry's a good guy. Damn. Okay. What's up, Bouncer? What are you doing? Gotta go, man. Larry's waiting for me. No, I mean... Fair guy. Squirrel. Hey, what's up, old man? Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Me. Are you Johnny? Wallace. Are you Johnny? <laughs> How nice to meet you. Are you Johnny? <laughs> Fitting name for a grown ass man in a trench coat. What do you need? Heard you got monkey butt. Got set of fangs. Can, I, can you get me into the bites? Depends. Why? I want that st stanky st shit. Heard they got it. There. Don't know what you're talking about, man. Sniff your armpits, maybe? <laughs> Got the bullshit, I know the deal monkey bot. I know the deal monkey bots. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, right. Get out of here, old fart. Kid, I know I'm being a bull, but I really need your help. Please, would you lend me a hand? Uh, everyone needs something. What's in it for me? I might consider not turning you into the cook. Oh, I could blackmail him. I could. Not much. Just an amazing feeling you get when you help someone else. <laughs> Chill. Listen, I'm a detective. My tongue is in there. If you help me out, I might be of use to you later. Oh, what the fuck did you just say? Sorry, kid, but you're in my way. No hard feeling. I said I can still smell the stench of farmlands of <laughs> on you, village boy. Lead me into the house. See that police dog down the street. That's Downey, my friend. I can bet he'd love to sniff your pocket. You feel me? Fuck you. I'll get. I'll get you in. But I hope you you overdose and get eaten alive by feral geese. Meet me at the entrance right after you. Blackmailed him. Mm, loving it. Uh, what's this poster? The day I bought a bike. The life of a young. Handsome ape turns to share balls when he cross paths with a dangerous man and he does it on his bike. Didn't know that was out. One of my favorite filmmakers. Okie dokie. Bouncer, or do I talk with Squirrel? Squirrel. So, talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? Bouncer. What? What? Here's Johnny! Hey, Johnny, what have you been? Where have you been? Stripper, you can come in. Come in, don't cause any trouble. Thanks. Go inside. Okay, sweet. Here's Johnny. That's pretty good. Ooh, hello, hello. What is this? Mm. Actually, I might stop my episode here. It's 40 minutes, so I'm trying to keep in between there. So, yeah, this is Backbone, the prologue, which is a demo. You can get it on Steam. I'll rephrase that. You can get it on Steam. People already played it, but hey, I'm just saying. 
it is a good game. It's coming out soon. Maybe at the, at the end of this year. No, next year. Next year, 2020. It's coming out next year, but it's a good game. I'll be playing more just to finish this prologue. So yeah, hope you guys are enjoying this. But my voice acting is not that good. So sorry about that. I'll, I'll do it better. I'll try to. I'll do my best. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.